Joe Shimoda has had a terrible start to the 2022 Supercross season, but don't give up hope on him just yet. I think he might win a championship here soon. I'm Tyler Deering, and welcome to Gate Drop News. What's going on, y'all? My name is Tyler Deering. Welcome back to GDN. In this episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about Joe Shimoda and how, although he's had a terrible 2022 season thus far, I think next year and in years beyond, he's going to be the lead man in the pro circuit stable. Now, some might ask, why are you coming from this, Tyler? Joe's been terrible. He has one top five in a regional class. Well, let's take a look back at his results, see what happened in each of them, and then I'm going to tell you guys why I think Shimoda might be a 2023 regional supercross champion. Just hear me out. Let's look at the results real quick. So first off, Anaheim won. Shimoda flinched on the gate after he took the bait from Christian Craig. Was it intentional? Was it not? I couldn't tell you. It looked to me like Craig just missed time a little bit. Shimoda went for it, ran straight into the gate, started plum last, came home P7. Not a terrible night, just a bad luck off the start. Round two showed speed, huge crash in the whoops, bunch of little mistakes, Probably his sloppiest performance of the year. Came home P7 again. That one, definitely his fault. San Diego, huge pile up in the first turn after Michael Moseman got the whole shot. Hunter Lawrence kind of squeezed the whole pack. That collision saw Craig go down. Shimoda was involved. Nothing he could do. It was wrong place, wrong time. Super cross start. What can you say? Round four, running well. In position for, I think he might have gotten a podium in that one. Uh, he was about to get around Vince Freezy after he had gone down. Instead, runs right over Freezy's head. Horrible break for Freezy, but also a bad break for Shimoda, who finished the race bloodied in his helmet and shirt. Shimoda would finish the race P7, but if we've looked back at those instances, really three of those weren't his fault. I mean, you could say the gate drop in the first was his fault, and I, I think it was, but it wasn't like a horrible mistake. I think it just caught him off guard. So in reality, I think the season could have gone a lot differently for Shimoda if a couple things had happened differently. I don't think his fourth place right now in the championship, 33 points behind Craig, is an accurate depiction of how well he's ridden this year. And because of this, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Joe Shimoda will win a regional coast in 2023 Supercross. Three reasons why. Number one. Shimoda is really fast. He has a main event win. It took Michael Moseman longer to get his first one, even though he's running really well this year. It was after Hunter Lawrence, but Shimoda has ridden just about as good as Hunter Lawrence. He's just had a couple bad breaks here and there, a couple crashes. Pace-wise, he and Hunter are about the same. Also, Shimoda finished second in the East Coast Championship behind eventual winner Colt Nichols. That's really good. I mean, it leads into my second point, but he's clearly got the speed to contend with these fast guys. Point number two, Shimoda has the ability to run every race on a schedule. More so in the 250 class, this is key because it's a shorter schedule, but you have to stay healthy if you have any chance of winning the championship. Shimoda is one of a few riders to ride every round of 2021 Supercross, every round of 2021 outdoors and thus far every round of supercross shimoda has the ability to stay healthy but it's not like he hasn't had injuries the latest example obviously was the bloody face from when he ran over freezy but he also had issues where a rock came up and hit his finger and outdoors pushed through the pain found a way to get decent finishes when he wasn't in 100 percent that's what you have to look for in a champion is the ability to stay healthy enough to run all of the races shimoda has that and i can't say that a lot of other guys in the class do have that third and final point joe shimoda is 19 years old he has not been in the class for four or five years as say in Austin Fortner and Adam C. and Cerullo due to injury. He has been able to ride all the races, and because of that, he's a guy you want to put on the bike because you know that he's going to run all the races. As of right now, the season has not gone well, but I think throwing in the towel on Joe is a terrible mistake for Kawasaki. Even since he's come over to America from Japan, you've seen Joe just develop as a person immensely from when he got over here two years ago. He took the time to learn English when he didn't necessarily need to. He could have had a translator up on the podium, but... Even in interviews from last year to this year, his English is fantastic. I mean, he's working really hard at something like that. He's improving himself on the bike and off the bike to be the best spokesperson for a pro circuit that he can be. It's things like that that I don't see every rider in the paddock doing, and I think that it's going to contribute to long-term success because it shows that he's taking it seriously. He's taking every part of his training seriously, not just what happens in the night show. It's building up to that. 
that I think Joe Shimoda does an excellent job. He started his career with Honda, was able to ride a ton of races with them, even as a rookie. That ultimately didn't work out, but he stayed healthy enough that he has actually shown progression with Kawasaki up until this year, where he's kind of had a little bit of a slump, but we've already talked about that. Shimoda has shown the ability to improve, and he's shown his fans and his team that he has a high ceiling. I think giving up on Shimoda early would be a crime. I hope that if something does go wrong and he's not able to secure a ride with Pro Circuit after this year, that someone takes a chance on him because I think this guy has real talent. If Shimoda is to stay with Pro Circuit and win a 2023 regional class, he would be the first rider since Justin Hill in 2017 to take a crown. Yeah, we also got to talk about that. Pro Circuit has not been the same titan that it was in years past pro circuit has not had a regional supercross championship since 2017 as i mentioned earlier so i don't think all of the blame on the poor results is specifically targeted towards joe if i'm mitch payton though i have to give him another chance because i believe in this guy i think that he has talent i think he's an extremely hard worker it would be a shame to see people give up on him so soon anyway guys that's all i have for you today let me know down in the comments if you think Joe Shimoda is going to get a main event win this season or if next year is finally going to be his year. Round five is in Phoenix coming up on Saturday night, hence the Arizona Coyotes jersey if anybody likes hockey. We will be covering that one in detail. Video should be out Sunday, maybe Monday. We'll see how, <laughs> see how that works. But anyway, guys, this is Tyler Deering. This has been Gate Drop News. Thank you so much, and we will see you all in the next one.